Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Evolution Marketing Solutions tutorial of the day. All right, this is your host, Marvin Thomas, also known online in the internet marketing world as Money Marvin T. And what I'm going to show you today is how to build your very own website from scratch. All right, so uh, I bet you guys are wondering, you know, why why would this guy be showing me how to build my own website if he's a web designer and he makes a living, you know, building websites for people? And uh, so why would he be showing me this trick of the trade? Well, the thing is, um, designing a website for someone else or paying to get your website designed can actually be expensive. And uh, if you don't have the money to uh, build your own site, I mean, to get your site built, then, you know, quite naturally, you're going to want to build it yourself. So I run into a whole lot of clients and uh, potential customers that don't really have the money that it takes to actually get the site built that they want. So uh, what I decided to do was actually uh, create a video to help, you know, to help you guys out, you know. Uh, create a video to show you how to build a website you know and, and it's actually it's not hard as, as you think it is you know um maybe the hardest part i would say would be the graphic designing of the website or something like that but you know i'm gonna walk you through all of that you know what i'm saying so so if you actually want to learn how to build your own website from scratch okay i'm gonna show you how to do that all right so let's go ahead and jump into it first things first I'm going to show you how to build a, a, a website uh, in WordPress. Now, what WordPress is, it's a CMS content management system. And it's the, it's the, the, most, popular, uh, the most popular thing being used today uh, when designing websites. And the reason why is because it, it makes it so easy for you to just log into the back end of the site, add new pages, add content, and stuff like that. But before we go, get into it, before we get that far... Uh, First things first, in order to build a website, you must have a domain name, all right? So um, right now, we're going to go ahead and get a domain. Well, I already have my domain, but I'm going to walk you through it and, uh, like we're getting a, a domain name for our site. And basically, what a domain name is, is www.yourdomain.com, okay? So whatever you want your domain to be, whatever you want people to find your website by, you know, uh, that's going to be your domain name, you know, so www.evolutioninc.info, all right, evolutioninc.info is the domain name. Uh, let's go ahead and go to godaddy.com, okay, I recommend, and, and pay attention to the sites that I recommend, I'm not recommending, sure, I get a small commission if you guys use my links uh, that I'm going to give you to get your products from these sites that I'm talking about. And uh, I would greatly appreciate it uh, if you guys would actually use my links, you know, because me, that's that's like me getting a small thank you uh, that you appreciate this video that I'm doing. And it allows me to keep putting out more videos and more contents by you using my links and allowing me to get commissions from the uh, services that I recommend. Because I recommend them for a reason, you know, I'm one of the best out there. You know, so I only use the best services and products out there. So if you pay attention to my videos and me and how I work, you'll actually see that. So first things first, I recommend you go to GoDaddy.com, okay? If there is a link on this page for GoDaddy.com, or if you're on my website, there should be a link. Please use that link to access GoDaddy.com. And again, any links that I give you, use my links because they're going to be special promotions uh, included with my links. And of course, I get a commission from the link. And of course, you using the link allows me to continue to put out more content and valuable information like this. Okay? So, go to GoDaddy.com. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and type it right here in my address bar. GoDaddy. All right. After you do that, you're going to figure out what you want your domain to be. And uh, the way you figure that out is you think about it, of course. And once you got into your mind what you, what you, what you want your domain to be, you want to go ahead and type it 
Me? Okay, you want to go ahead and type it right here. All right, so um, I'm gonna type. I already bought my domain, so it's gonna show up. It's not available, but dot com money dot info. So once you type whatever you want your domain to be, you hit go. All right, and uh, if, if this is your first site, then um, you may want to start out. You know, it depends. You know, if you're just testing a, a, a site out, testing out your first site, you can start like with a dot info domain because dot info domains they're only like ninety nine cents. All right, I think I think it totals out to be like two dollars and two cents at GoDaddy.com, something like that. But um. Or if you want to start with a .com domain, you can start with a .com domain. But as you see, the domain is not available because I've already purchased the domain. So I'll try another one uh, and show you how it works if your domain is available. So I'll type, you know, Marvin, the web designer. Go over here. You choose what you want your domain to be. I want this one to be a .com, not .info. Hit search. Okay, so MarvinTheWebDesigner.com is available. So if I wanted to buy that domain, what I would do, and I'm noticing that it's available at $11.99 per year. All right, you click on Continue to Registration. All right, now what GoDaddy is going to do, they're going to try to sell you uh, other domains as well that match your domain. Okay, so like here, you'll see it has... Uh, get three more okay protect your domain with three more names okay so you got they're offering me marvin the web designer dot net marvin the web designer dot org marvin the web designer dot info and uh if you look over here they have some more marvin the web designer dot us marvin the web designer dot mobi that's for mobile phones so and they offer you discounts okay you get all three of these for fifteen dollars all three of these for twenty eight dollars, okay, that's a pretty good deal. All right, but the only the only time you really want to take advantage of this opportunity is if you're trying to dominate for whatever the domain is. Okay, if you don't want nobody else to have that domain, so if I didn't want anybody else to be able to purchase this domain, then I would buy all of these. But right now, I really don't care because we're not actually getting this domain. All right, but um, if you don't want nobody to have, you know, if your website is how to make money dot com. All right, and you don't want nobody to have how to make money dot info or how to make money dot net because if they type that, you know, I mean, the reason why is because you may tell your customers how to make money dot com or your or your uh, people that come to your website, but they may accidentally type how to make money dot net or how to make money dot info or how to make money dot org, and then it's going to take them to another site that's not your site, but you know, but somebody that has a similar domain than you. But uh, a lot of times it's really not important unless you're trying to just dominate for that domain, you know, but I'm not trying to dominate for this domain. And since you're just getting started, you may not want to try to dominate for a domain. Either. Just go ahead and choose your domain. If you come down here, it says uh, no thanks. You know, if you want to take part, if you want to get these domains, you, you click on uh, add here and add here and then you uh, proceed. But I'm going to click on no thanks. okay now it's going to bring you to the domain registration information section of the website all right so uh you could this is where you register your domain for however many years you want to have it registered so i'm going to put here i'm a, i want to register this domain for one year because i may not want it next year you know so i'm not going to pay for it for uh two years or three or four or five years but I just want it for this year and then if it works out next year I'll actually add more years to the domain or something like that so the registration length is going to be one year you put in your contact information here uh, your address and everything alright so the next thing you want to do is oh and actually see I've already registered uh, my GoDaddy account so all this information is here but when you first set up your GoDaddy account you're gonna have to enter your registration information you know your address and all that good stuff but uh, you'll get it okay so uh, if you have name servers for these domain okay we're gonna get into name servers uh, in a little bit alright so don't worry about this right now uh, 
it includes free auto renew protection okay now what this is if you want them to automatically charge your credit card uh, when it's time for you to pay for this domain again okay so like today is let's see what's today I think today is the second all right August the second 2011 okay so if I want them on August the 2nd 2012 to automatically renew my domain then I don't do anything to this and, and they'll automatically renew my domain but I don't know if I'm gonna want this domain next year so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to manually renew that way I would have to log in I would have to actually pay for this domain again if I want it okay now you come down here you have you know privacy and domain protection you know all this stuff costs extra here and I don't I don't really uh, okay hold on domain registration expired okay so they're telling me I took too long to purchase the domain all right let me go back mm, I can't go back okay yes I can all right continue to registration I'm up here talking to you guys and I've took too long to buy the domain. Now I got to log on in again. All right, there's no problem. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to log back in right quick. I don't even remember what the domain was. Let me hit the back button and see what it showed it to me. Okay, it says, I right, am continue to registration okay all right so we we discussed all that we've discussed all this already okay uh, privacy of your domain this is if you want to you know add other stuff to your domain uh, you know 11.99 a year and they'll make it private um, protected registration is 29.99 a year you can you can go back you know this is just your first site so don't really worry about this right now because this is stuff that you can add later on down the line all right, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but um, after you get your domain, get your website set up and everything, you can go back and you can always add this stuff later on. You know, privacy, is if you don't want anybody to know that you're the website owner, then you want to do the privacy section and, and all that good stuff, okay? Uh, activate your website, email, and more. Uh, you're not going to actually be using this section because we're not going to be building the website in GoDaddy. Uh, we're going to be building the website using HostGator Hosting. And the reason I chose HostGator Hosting is because they're the best hosting company in the world. And uh, that's the main reason. But uh, it's super easy uh, with HostGator and it's what I'm familiar with. So I recommend you guys use that as well. Okay. So just make sure you know you fill out the domain registration information section all right so then you want to click next all right so after you click next they're going to actually show you this is the review of your shopping cart they're going to show you how much your domain is all right something is seriously wrong here okay because the domain is showing us 49.95 and i already see what the problem is domain name registration five years recurring okay so remember when i went back and chose one year before uh, i actually had to log back in so you can easily fix this you know you want to make sure you look at your price uh, the domain is supposed to be 11.99 something like that so that's the amount i'm trying to stay around so if it don't say 11.99 right there or whatever you're supposed to be paying for your domain then look down here and find out what's wrong so i see here it says domain details term five years i'm going to put that on one year and that's going to change my domain from to back to 9.99 okay so i actually got a a deal on that it's supposed to be 11.99 but i'm going to get it for 9.99 today all right so that's all you would need to do here okay so my cart sub total is 10.17 my order total is 10.17 and you want to click continue to check out okay now this is where you want to fill in your billing information all right now it's time to pay for your domain name so if you look here mine's already filled in all right but you want to put in your name you know your address your city state zip code primary email and your phone number and uh if you're going to be paying with the credit card you want to add new 
and then you want to put in your credit card number and the name on the card the card type the expiration date you know all that good stuff same old same old all right so but you can also pay with a gift card by check or with paypal you know so the only one that i've ever paid with it recommend is either a straight credit card or with paypal you click on paypal and all you would have to do is uh It'll take you to uh, the PayPal website. You put in your PayPal email and your PayPal password and you hit log in. You can proceed to pay for the domain through PayPal. As you do that, it's going to bring you back to a page like this. Or it's going to actually uh, let you know that your domain has been purchased if you choose PayPal. But today, we're going to pay with a credit card. All right, so once you fill in all your information and you add your new card, you want to click on I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. All right, so after you do that, you want to click on place order now. All right, so once you place your order, okay, that was a problem authorizing your credit card. Please verify your paper. So once you place your order, I'm not actually buying this domain. That's why the order didn't go through. But once you place your order, they're going to bring you to a thank you page. And the page where you can actually print your receipt. All right, or you can click on the link to view your receipt. Uh, what you want to do, sometimes it take, takes that receipt, like, you know, two to three minutes to actually show up but you want to leave that page open and click on that link and view your receipt and that's going to open up in a new window all right so after that you simply want to log into your your GoDaddy account so if you've created a new account with them you should already be logged in your name will be up here at the top you know see how mine says welcome back Marvin log out so what you want to do is you want to log into the account you want to go to domains after you log in you want to go to domain management all right all right after you purchase your domain go to domain then go to domain management all right so you'll be able to see in the domain management section of your website the domain that you just purchased the one i just purchased well not the one i purchased because i didn't purchase anyone but the one that i'm going to use today is dot com money dot info okay i purchased this domain in may and uh, I haven't done anything with it, so I decided I'll go ahead and build a quick website with it for this video. Okay, so you're gonna go to dot com. I mean, you're gonna go to domain and then to the ma manage domain section. It's gonna bring you to this little panel right here. You'll be able to see your domain, and uh, after that, just leave that page open, or um, we'll come back to this page later on because. The next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to purchase your hosting. All right. So once you purchase your hosting, you're going to have to link the domain to your hosting and then we'll be ready to build a site. All right. So stay tuned. okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our hosting uh, we're gonna actually get our hosting okay so the hosting is is hosting is actually web space and what you're gonna do is you're gonna be buying web space you know so you can um in and, and your your website you're gonna buy web space so you can host your website online all right so without hosting your website cannot exist okay so um what we're going to do is we're going to go to hostgator all right so it's hostgator.com okay and if you uh look below or somewhere around this video you'll see that i've provided a link to hostgator.com and it's going to have a special little promo there for you a special discount included with that link or that promo code that you get and that's going to allow you to get get your first month of hosting for only one cent okay so after you get to hostgator.com all right you're going to see here that they offer unlimited web hosting which is great all right unlimited web space uh free site builder you know uh easy control panel now even though they offer you a free site builder uh with your website we're not gonna i'm not gonna be using the free site builder to actually i'll make another video later on to show you how to use the free site builder but i'm not gonna be using it to build 
the website that we're building today all right so what you want to do is you want to purchase some hosting from from hostgator and it's real easy okay you go to you click on web hosting all right so it's going to show you the different packages that they have to offer okay get started with hostgator today and hostgator is one of the best web hosting firms in the world you guys i'm telling you they they make everything so super super easy the customer service is excellent always on point and they're always there for you all right host gator is the one all right i, I know you heard of all these other different hosting companies and all that but forget what you heard everything everything that you need and that you want from a hosting company you can get right here with hostgator okay believe me i've been doing this for a long long time all right i've been with numerous hosting companies all right but the only one that i love <laughs> and still do to this day is hostgator all right so um i have my reason for that you know they just make everything so easy and you're gonna see how easy they make it for you to actually get your website in one click install to get your website up you know and online you know one click wordpress install and oh man it's just amazing i can go on forever okay so first thing you want to do is you want to purchase your hosting all right so uh for this plan here it's a single if you if you're using a single domain all right um so that mean okay, and, and we're only using one domain, so it'll be fine to get this uh, unlim unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth. So that's pretty much everything you need. All right. So if, if you look over here, you'll see this is for unlimited domains. So if I'm gonna use dot com money dot info dot com money dot com dot com money dot net, then you you're gonna want to use uh, if you're gonna use multiple domains, you're gonna want to use this. You're gonna to want to get the baby plan with Hostgator, all right? But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get the Hatchling plan with Hostgator, okay? The Hatchling plan. That's the the most primitive, uh, simple plan that they have. All of them are great, but trust me, this is all you need to start out. So what you want to do? You want to click on Order Now, okay? So step one, choose a domain. All right, so we, we're not gonna actually purchase our domain from Hostgator because, like I told you, we're gonna get our domain from GoDaddy because I think that GoDaddy is the best when it comes to domains. All right, so and like I said, I'm gonna tell you what's the best for what. You know, what's the, what's the best website? What's the best service or product to use for any particular task? You know, so for purchasing domains. GoDaddy is number one. They are the best for pur for purchasing hosting. Hostgator is the best in hosting. Okay, so just pay attention to my words because um I've been doing this for a long time and I know what I'm talking about. And it will take me a whole other video just to explain to you how and why I know. But trust me, just trust me on this one. All right. Okay, so uh you want to go to I currently have a domain name okay so you want to uh, use your existing domain name so that's the domain that you just purchased from godaddy.com alright so what you want to do is you're going to put your domain here and mine is .com money .info. that's the domain that I'm using to build a website on today so it's going to say enter a coupon code here alright now if you look around this video on my website you're gonna find a promo code for GoDaddy. So if you notice, this hatchling plan was like three dollars and forty nine cent per month. But the code that's on my site that we're gonna give you is gonna allow you to get your hosting for one cent for the first month, only one cent. So find that code now and uh, come back to this video. Okay, now that you have your code, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and paste that code right here in the coupon code section, okay? And then you want to go to uh, continue to step two. Okay, so once you get to this uh, section, this is the billing information. All right, you're going to see that uh, you have your hatchling plan here. You got your billing cycle. It's going to show you that your hosting is... Uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna pay uh, monthly for the hosting 
and uh, at seven dollars and sixteen cent a month, plus you get twenty percent off of that, so it's gonna be like three dollars and something a month. All right, so you want to pay per six months, uh, which I highly recommend. Um, go ahead and pay. You know that way you'll have your hosting up to six months, and you don't have to worry about paying it every month. You know, or, you know, coming in here every month and paying it. You know, but um, if you can't pay it for six, twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six months, you know, off top. Go ahead and pay for that first month of hosting, and it'll get you started. Now, right here, you want to choose your username, all right? So, uh, you make your username, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to be Marvin T. All right, then you put in the security or security pin, which is going to be four, uh, four numbers. And if you do everything right, you'll see that uh, all this... You'll have four green checks under the username if you do that right. You'll have two green checks under the security under the security pin if you do that right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to put in your first name, last name, email, home phone, address, city, state, zip, choose your country. Then after that, you want to add your credit card or you want to click pay with PayPal. All right. So I'm 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 paying with a credit card. So I put in my credit card number information here here. Bam, boom, pow. All right. So, uh, and if you're paying with PayPal, just click there. Boom. All right. So, please review the order details below. So, uh, 24 7 phone, live chat, email, and support. You get that absolutely free. And that's one of the best services they have for you right here. You get instant account activation, uh, um, uh, money back guarantee, you know, 45 days. So, if you're not satisfied with your hosting after 45 days, you can get your money back and all that. But I guarantee you, once you get HostGator, you're not going to never want to leave. All right. So uh, hosting and they got a hatch and you, you're getting the hatching plan. All right, your package is a one month cycle. Uh, using a coupon. Uh, well, this coupon that I'm using here uh, is for twenty percent off. So it's gonna allow me to get uh, my domain at a dollar and seventy nine cent for the first month. All right, the code I'm gonna give you is gonna allow you to get your domain for one cent for the first month. All right, so I have my existing domain here, which is .com money .info, setup price zero. Okay, and my total amount due seven dollars and sixteen cent, but it's actually going to charge me, or actually should charge me, only a dollar and seventy nine cent. All right, so you click here. I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Boom! Click create account. Once you create the account, they're going to charge your credit card for that one month or they're going to take it to your PayPal account where you can go ahead and finish paying through PayPal. And once you do that, they're going to bring you back to a thank you page. All right. And your thank you page is basically going to tell you to check your email, uh, check your email for your uh, for your login information to your hosting account. All right. So I've already purchased my hosting account. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put up that email that has my login information to my hosting account. We're gonna go ahead and get logged into the hosting account. We're gonna go ahead and add the domain. We're gonna go ahead and get the website up. All right, stay tuned. The first thing you should see is the email that's saying, thank you for choosing HostGator as your web hosting provider. This email confirms that we have received your order. If you have already submitted a payment, your account will be set up within 20 minutes. If you have yet to make a payment, you may do so by going to HostGator slash billing and logging in with your primary email address and password specified at the time of setup. Once your account is set up, you'll receive an email notification with your account information. If you fail to receive this email, please check your spam and junk email folders. If you still can't find it, please contact sales at hostgator.com with the alternate email address that we can use. Okay, so thank you again for choosing HostGator. We look forward to serving you. So if you see you guys, I had to dig up this email. <laughs> I received this email on September 16, 2009. So I've had this HostGator account for that long. All right, so um, what you want to do now is you want to uh, wait on them to send you your account setup email. This could take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So just be patient and just wait. All right. And uh, this is what the email is going to look like. 
Okay. I want you to count get set up. You're going to get an email. It's going to say your host gator account information. All right. So uh, it's going to say thank you for your order. Welcome to the host gator family. It's going to have your domain listed that you use to sign up. It's going to have your username you chose. It's going to have your password. It's going to have your site IP address and your name servers. Okay. So remember when we were at uh, GoDaddy and uh, we seen the name server tab. Okay. This is where we're going to use your name server. Okay. But uh, let's read a little more further. It's going to have. Until your DNS has been changed and resolved to our name servers, you can access your cPanel at such and such. Okay, so uh, until you're, uh, you set up your name servers, you'll still be able to access your hosted account by using this link here. All right, and, uh, and you can view your, your website before your uh, DNS. Your DNS is, is, is basically uh, what, the, what it is, your name server. Okay, um, I forgot the exact term for DNS, but what it basically is is you have to take these this uh these name servers here uh and you have to go to godaddy.com and you have to enter your name servers and then it takes godaddy like you know an hour to 24 hours to actually uh connect the name service to your domain but they may do it instantly you know but it says here you know you can still view your site before the dns has been resolved okay so you can still look at your site even though it, it, it your uh, name server is not set up yet so for instance if my site is www.evolutioninc.info I can still use this link here gator1010.hostgator.com slash dash money man if I want to view my website All right, so that's basically what that is but um we'll come back to that there because you, you may not even need to use this information down here but just go ahead and read over the whole email once you do you go back up to your name service all right so what you want to do then once you see your name service is you want to go back to godaddy.com all right so see here's a, my session is about to expire click ok to extend my session i'll click ok but if your session has expired for godaddy what you want to do is you just want to go back to godaddy.com Okay, you want to go to domains. You want to make sure you're logged in. If you're not logged in, go to domains. Go to ma domain management, and it's gonna bring you back to this little panel here that has all of your domains in it. Now, what you want to do is you want to find the domain that you're gonna use. And in my case, the domain that I'm gonna use is .com money .info. So you click on the domain. Once you click on the domain, you want to scroll down here to, uh, one sec, you scroll down right here to set, I mean to name servers, all right? And you want to click on set name servers. See in the bed, close it up. And you want to click on set name servers, all right? So once you click there, little box is going to pop up. Okay, so it say if you are hosting your website with us, you have a hosting account with us associated with this domain. If you are hosting your website with us, you have a hosting account with us associated with this domain, or you want to park or forge your domain, we'll automatically set your name service for you. So you're not going to use the hosting account that you get from GoDaddy uh, for a whole lot of reasons. You know, they're, they're good at domains, but I don't really recommend their hosting. So that's why we purchased the hosting account through HostGator. So it says, you want to click on the little bubble that says, I have specific name servers for my domain. Okay. So uh, then you're going to see here it says name server one, name server two, name server three, name server four. All right, so uh, you have your two name servers in that email that you get that you just got from HostGator. So you want to go back, you want to copy your first name server, go back to GoDaddy, paste it in the box. All right, go back, copy your second name server from your email. You go back to GoDaddy, paste it in the box. All right, so then you click okay and that's it. it says your changes have been submitted these changes usually take two hours however it may take up to 48 hours for these changes to take effect 
these time frames are estimated and not guaranteed. So it's telling you here that it may take up to two hours before your your name servers are changed. And that's why HostGator gives you this link here. It says, well, you can access your site here at clicking this link until your domain servers get changed over, okay? Um, so that's the whole point of this long link right here versus the one you just brought. Now, once your domain servers are changed over, then I'll be able to access my site using .com money .info, all right? So assuming that your name servers have been changed, uh, which is sometimes it usually don't take that long at all, you want to click OK. And uh, now you're finished with GoDaddy. You can actually close GoDaddy out. All right, so um, you want to go ahead and okay. So if you click here, it says until your DNS has been changed and resolved to our name servers, you can access your cPanel. All right, so you're gonna install your website in your cPanel. Okay, so you want to go ahead and click there on that first link. To access your cPanel, and you should come to a page that looks just like this. All right. Or if your if your domain servers have been fixed, uh, you can test that out by typing in your domain. So my domain is dot com money dot info, and then you type backslash cPanel. So whatever your domain is, you know. Uh, uh, mydomain.com backslash cPanel. All right. Um, www.thisismysite.com backslash cPanel. Whatever your domain is, you want to type that domain and you want to type backslash cPanel and you hit enter and it's going to bring you directly to this page. All right. So there's two ways you can access your cPanel. One is by directly typing your link in the address bar. The second one is by clicking on this first link that says until your DNS has been changed and resolved to our name service, you can access your cPanel at boom, blah, blah, blah. All right. So once you get to this page, you want to type in your username and you want to type in your password. Gonna have all that information in this email here, okay? So it's gonna log you in, and we're halfway done, people. We're actually halfway done with this thing. If you want, if you need help getting started, you want to access the Get Help Starting Wizard. It's gonna take you through the basic setup steps that you need to get going in no time. But that's what I'm doing. So you can click No, I'm fine because Marvin is taking me through the basic steps that I need to get my website set up so no host gator we don't need you right now <laughs> okay so um, the first thing you want to do is you want to add your domain to your hosting account alright so once you log in you're gonna have all these nice looking tools and good stuff in the back back here alright so you want to scroll down scroll down to you see domains the domain tab okay so um you'll see that it says subdomains add-on domains parked domains redirects and all that good stuff all only thing we're focused on is add-on domains okay so you click add on domains and this is how you add your domain to your website so even though you've changed your dns server from host from HostGator to point to your website, your domain is not gonna actually work until you add your domain to your website. All right, so it's gonna bring you to this page here, and it's all about adding domains. Okay, the add-on domain allows a visitor to reach a subdomain to your site by typing blah blah blah. blah. This is what you need to do: go to create an add-on domain. You add your domain name here. Mine is dot com money. That info all right you tap down tab again tap till you get to the password field you set up a password for your domain set up another password I mean uh confirm your password and after that you just click add domain so uh, if you look here you're gonna say error from domain wrapper uh, the domain is already owned by another user. That's because I already added the domain to this account. But yours is going to be green, and it's going to say something like, "Congratulations, you added your domain." You know, 
or something like that. All right, so once you add your domain, you click on go back, or you click on home, actually. Click on home. Okay, now we're going to install WordPress. In, and this is one of the main reasons why I choose HostGator, because WordPress with HostGator is a one-click install. Okay, you don't have to go editing any code or anything like that, any confusing stuff. That, that's really hindering a lot of people that don't have HostGator because uh, you know they have to edit code and all that and, and, and all kind of crazy stuff to get WordPress set up but we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to get WordPress set up with HostGator with one click install all right one click your website is gonna be online all right so what you do is you uh you scroll down once you get back into this section of your uh, hosting account Go all the way down, and then you're gonna see a little, a little blue smiley face. Okay, it's gonna be under the tab software and services, which is two tabs under domain. All right, so you're gonna see a little blue smiley face, and it's gonna say Fantastico Deluxe. All right, what you wanna do is click on Fantastico Deluxe. Click on that little blue smiley face. It brings a lot of happiness. All right, after that, you wanna go. Um, Scroll down and you want to click on WordPress. Alright. Alright, and just a little quick look on the side. This blue smiley face, it allows you to install a whole lot of stuff on your website, like with just one click, okay? You can add a classified section to your site. Uh I also seen a forum section on here. You can add a forum uh section to your site, image galleries, all kind of stuff. Alright, all kind of stuff. But we're going to be using it to install WordPress. So you want to make sure you look right here. It's going to be on the blogs. And you click on WordPress. All right. So after you click on WordPress, you're going to see it populate over here to the right side. So it's going to say WordPress to the top. A short description. WordPress is the blogging software with the focus on ease of use, elegance, performance, and standards with a huge selection of themes and plugins. Okay. So, uh. You want to click on new installation. All right, new installation is what you want to click on. You want to find your domain that you just added to your site. See, I have the unlimited domain account with HostGator, so I can add unlimited domains to my account. You see all these different sites I got. But uh, what you want to do is you want to find the one you just added. And, and in my in my case, that was .com money .info. If you have the Hatchet account, you're going to only have one domain right there. So, you know, nothing confusing about this part. All right. So, you find the domain that you're going to be installing WordPress on. Installing directory, you leave that blank. Uh, admin access data. Okay. So, this is where you set up the username and password for your website. All right. So, my username is going to be, uh, in this instance, admin. My password will be password all right so after that you want to set in your admin nickname okay so whatever whenever somebody place a comment on your site you reply to the comment your nickname is going to show all right so my nickname is going to be i just put my my real name marvin okay so admin email address all right in this section you want to add the email that you're going to be receiving replies to from your domain so for instance whenever somebody leaves a comment on your site you'll get an email from wordpress saying you know you have a new comment uh whenever anybody submits any form on your site it's going to come to the email that you're going to use here okay so uh after that you want to go down to site name you want to put your site name here mine is dot com money dot info all right after that, you want to put your description, okay? So for my site, it's going to be all about how to make money online. All right? So after that, you click Install WordPress. Okay? It's going to bring you to the page here, and you just click Finish Installation. all right now we have installed wordpress on our website we have basically put our website up online that fast you know and, and uh that's really sweet you guys you know and, and the way you see the site it's gonna say uh 
it's gonna offer you a link here to click on all right so uh, it says you need a username and password to enter the admin area your username is admin your password is password all right uh, the full URL to the admin area is here okay so this is the link uh, to access the back part section of your website all right and another thing you can do you can actually uh, email the details of this installation to yourself all right so if you put your email address in here and you hit send it's going to send you an email of your username and your password and the link to your site <clears throat> all right I'm not going to do that because I, I don't need this right here in front of me I'm just going to uh, click on this link open up the back section of my site and you got to come to a page that looks like this all right you're going to put in your username you're going to put in your password all right and you're going to hit log in it's just as simple as that you know, it's, just, it's just as simple as that people okay so Okay, all right. Uh, to to view your domain. Okay, so now you're in the back section of your website. All right. So uh, if you click here, I like to hold down the control key and you click sort of open up in another window. All right. So okay, so if you look, you see I have this domain pointing to my Facebook fan page, but uh. I'm gonna fix that right now so I can show you what the actual site is gonna look like. Alright, and about this, this 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 link is redirecting to my Facebook fan page, alright? And uh I'll show you how to set up a redirect later on. If you would like to redirect your domain to another page, but it's real simple, you know, you go to redirect and uh find a domain you want to redirect, put it in and you put the page that you want your domain to redirect to so in this instance I had uh, chose my domain here and I went to Facebook and got a link to my fan page and I put that link there and I hit add and then every time somebody typed that link dot com money that info it was going to my Facebook fan page because I wasn't using the link I just actually set it up to point to my Facebook fan page but now I'm gonna disconnect that um, that redirect I'm gonna remove that that way I can show you what my new website look like that I've just installed with WordPress alright so that quick I've removed the redirect so the domain should be free now and it's not redirecting anywhere so I'm gonna go back here hold down the control key click dot com money dot info okay it may take a while Yeah, it's going to take a while uh, for the redirect to go away. But what's going to happen is we're going to click here and it's going to open up my site. And then it's going to show you what the site looks like. All right. So uh, I'm just going to hold off a sec until until my domain is not redirected anymore. Then I'm going to come back to this part of the video and we're going to continue from here. All right. So you guys stay tuned. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold down that control key again, and click on that domain, open it up in a new window, and boom, you'll see here, this is my new site. Okay, so just that quick, just that fast, you've gotten your very own website up and online. It don't look like too much of nothing right now, but we're gonna fix that right now. Okay. So, uh, what you want to do now is you want to find a nice theme for your website. What kind of theme are you going to use, you know, for your site? Do you already have a theme in mind or, you know, if not, what you can do is uh, you go to appearance, click on appearance in that back office section of your website. All right. Then you want to click on install themes. All right, so you want to search for a theme here, okay? So, um, and uh, I get my themes. The majority of my themes that I use are on this site called ElegantThemes.com. And with ElegantThemes.com, uh, it's actually 
I think like nineteen ninety nine a year. Well, it's thirty nine dollars a year, but uh, they have some some awesome themes here uh, that I like to use. I'm just gonna scan through them and show you a few uh, right fast. Give me just a sec here. Themes. Okay, so. These are their themes. If you want to see them, you go to elegantthemes.com. For instance, here's a cuisine restaurant theme type deal. It's pretty nice, huh? Okay. The, uh, if you don't have the money or, you know, you don't want to purchase any themes, uh, just go ahead and go back to your back office. And uh, like I said, click on appearance. It's going to bring you to the manage theme section. And click in, then you click on install themes and you click on newest to see the newest themes so here are some of the newest themes that uh, you could choose from and you look at the themes and you find one that you like you know uh, uh, so you click on preview and you can actually see uh, what the theme is going to look like uh, on your website It's kind of sort of taking forever right now. All right, so it didn't show me anything. I'm gonna click on another one, preview. Okay, so this is what that theme will look like on your website. All right, I'm gonna preview another one. Hmm, I kind of like that one. Shell. Okay, but WordPress has tons and tons of free themes that you could choose from okay uh, you can go to recently updated and you can see some of their newest themes that they have you no know, um, no preview but just take a look at the themes and, and once you find a theme that you want you want to go ahead and activate that theme okay so I still haven't found one that I like quite yet. I like that shell one, so I'm gonna go back with that one. Okay, click on. Okay, or you can also click on newest and see the newest themes that they have. All right, or you can, or you can. Uh, they have like a most popular, but I don't see that one anymore. All right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use the shell theme. Okay, so click preview again, show you guys what it look like. All right, so you go back and you hit install. All right, and then you click on install now. It's going to bring you to this page here. You click on activate. Okay, so this is actually the uh, the theme options section of the theme that I'm using, and it allows you to customize the theme. All right, so. Like, let me go ahead and go back to my site and I'm going to refresh and it, it should have the new theme there. Okay, wow, there it is. Okay, so um, it says your headline goes right here. All right, so uh, now what you want to do is you want to, uh, okay, we, we've gotten a domain, we've gotten a hosting, uh, we've used uh, HostGator to, and Fantastico to uh, install WordPress. Um, we found a theme, all right. We've uploaded the theme to the website, and now we come to customizing the theme. Okay, so like if you look here, it'll it'll give you a few customizing options. Like for your headline, I'm gonna look over here. It says your headline goes here. Okay, so if you look here. And you go to theme, theme options, or whatever. Click on appearance, theme options. See what kind of options they give you. Each theme is going to give you different options. So mine's going to be, uh, here are the options that I have with this theme. So my headline would be, um, how to make money online from a to Z. Alright. 
So if I hit save, I should be able to go back to my website and refresh the page. And boom, there it is. How to make money online from A to Z. All right. The content area is going to be this little area that's right here, I guess. Um, and like I said, each theme is going to be different. So each theme will have different options. So what you gotta do is you gotta play around with your theme. This is actually one of the hard parts of doing, building a website too, is uh, the designing and customization of your theme. This is where a website designer usually, this is a good point to uh, actually contact your web designer. Uh, contact the web designer if you wanna customize the theme. Or if you don't wanna customize, if you wanna customize it yourself, you can do it as well, but um, like if there's something that you want to change that you can't change, you know, like the shell, you know, if you want to put your logo there, there are different ways you can go about doing that. Uh, you can research on how to change the logo yourself uh, from the theme page. The theme should have a form section and uh, or there should be a website where you can uh, find all the information about the theme. And you you find that website. You can usually find it by typing your your theme name in Google. So I would type Shell Light Theme. You go to Google and you should find a website with that Shell Light Theme, and it show it tells you how to use that theme. But um, let's go ahead. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and fill out the content area. Say so this site is about how to make money online with Google AdSense. Let's go that wrong. How to make money online with Google AdSense. Multiple targeted multiple blog sites targeted toward specific niches. And I see niche, niche, however they say that. So, this site is about how to make money online with Google AdSense and multiple blog sites targeted towards specific niches. Okay, so here is the gist of it create a blog site. Put in your Google AdSense code. Drive traffic and repeat the process. Okay. So really, that's basically you know how to make. That's one way you can make money online, really and truthfully, guys. But um, we'll get into that later. Right now, we're talking about building websites. If you want to find out how to make money online this way, I'm sure I'll have a couple videos up on my site about it, or you can actually come back to this site, dot com money dot info, and find out how to make money online. All right. But uh, anyway, we're talking about building websites today. Okay, so let's hit save and see where that showed up at on my website okay right here this site is about how to make money online with google adsense and multiple blog sites targeted towards specific niches here's the gist of it create a blog put in your google adsense code drive traffic and repeat the process all right so that's the content area so my sub headline i guess that's going to be headline two right here your h2 sub headline so uh you can say google AdSense plus niche plus traffic equals money, baby. All right, so we're gonna hit save. 
update. Boom. Google AdSense for the next flow track email. So as you can see before your very eyes that this website is actually coming together. All right. So the feature button link is where you want. This is the feature button right here. And uh, it's where you want this uh, website to link to when they click that button. So when they click that button for you, in this case, I have it linked back to my regular website, which is HTTP evolution Inc. Dot info. All right. Now the feature button text. This is what you want the text to be right now. It says call to action. I'm going to say start here. All right. As a matter of fact, I can have this button link back to my Facebook fan page. That's what I'm going to do because on that fan page, I'm talking about how to make money online. So I'll just have this button link back to that Facebook fan page. And if you go to my fan page, please like the page. All right. Because I'm going to be revealing a lot of information on that fan page. So you definitely want to like the page so you can get uh, tips and insights on how I make money online and how you can make money online and all that good stuff. But again, we're not talking about making money online. We're talking about building websites. Okay. So let me get back on the bus. <laughs> building websites okay so um if you have a twitter account uh, you put that here you put your facebook here linkedin your rss feed you know you can uh i'm pretty sure you know what a twitter facebook and linkedin account is rss feed you know you can look that up you know it's not really uh important right now we're talking about building websites all right so go ahead and click save all right, i'm going to refresh my site again and you'll see now that the button says start here all right so and, and the beautiful thing about uh the wordpress back end section of the website is that you can easily add pages and take away pages and add content and take away content and all that good stuff so, so now i'm going to show you how to add a page in wordpress all right all right so what you want to do uh is you click on the pages tab and you'll see that they already set up a sample page here, but I'm going to change that. All right, so I'm going to change that sample page to an About Us page. All right, so you type About Us. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to type About. There's no Us really about me. Okay, so I'm saying Hello. My name is Marvin Thomas. I created this website. You can fast forward through this part if you don't, if you want to. I'm basically just putting in some content for this page. So whatever content that you're gonna put on your About Us page, go ahead and put that in now. All right, so say, hello, my name is Marvin Thomas. I created this website to show you how to make money online. I have been making money online for online for the last five years with Google. This website explains how I did it. It was simple really. I created a lot of small targeted sites like the one you are on now. I added my Google AdSense. Codes to the sites. And I started driving traffic. Which resulted 
spell check for we'll say view this site throughout view this site no, let me erase that okay to find out the details read this full website take action cool a lot of people do you tell people how to do that I tell people how to do a whole lot of stuff you know this is how you do this this is how you do that this is how you make money this is how you build this but if you don't take action if, if you don't actually take action and start doing what I'm showing you how to do then you'll never get nowhere all right so that's the information I'm going to add to this page. So I click update. Then yeah, boom, go back to the website. Hit refresh. There's the about us page. All right. The page we just created. So that's how easy it is to create a page in WordPress. And what you want to do is you want to remember to go to uh, the settings tab. And you want to click on permalinks. Because if you look here, if you click on the About Us page, it says .com money info backslash question mark page underscore ID equals two. You don't want that. You want them to say .com money info backslash About Us. All right. And the way you fix this is uh, you go to the permalink, click on permalinks under settings. All right. You go to custom structure. Okay. And uh, you want to do a backslash hold down the shift key, key hit the number five type post name p-o-s-t-n-a-m-e hold down the shift key hit number five hold down the shift key I'm sorry and then hit backslash alright so backslash uh, quotation mark post name I mean backslash percent post name percent backslash okay so if you hit save and you go back to the page and you refresh it it's gonna say okay it says sample page but it's supposed to say about us and the reason it says sample page is because I actually changed that sample page to the about us page but in order to fix that I just go back to pages <coughs> find the about us page Click on the edit sample page and change that to about dash us. Hit OK. Update. And you won't have to do this for the other pages you create. The only reason I had to do this for this page is because it was the sample page first and I changed it to about us. So I had to change that right there to about us too to get the page to show up as about us whenever I refresh the page so now you'll see that it says about us all right so after you do that you know you just create all the pages that you want to create all right and of course you're gonna want to create a, a contact us page and um, you know there's different plugins and stuff that you can use the, the, the beautiful part about using WordPress is that there's different plugins that you can use as well to help your site out and uh, I'll do other videos on the types of plugins that you can use you know like a contact us plugin where you can just download this plugin and uh, just forget it I'll do it now alright so um show you a nice little plugin I like to use you know WordPress has a whole like the, the way to describe plugins okay you have your phone right and like on your cell phone you got all these different apps that you can use that make things easier well WordPress you have all these different plugins that you can use that make things easier all right so you click on add new and uh, the plugin I'm gonna look for is a contact form it's called contact form 7 click on search plugins after you type in contact form 7 
and it's going to bring up all the different contact form plugins but the one I'm looking for in particular is contact form 7 you click on install now activate plugin all right then you want to come out down under settings then you want to click on contact click on edit okay so scroll down and you're going to see a mail to section this is where you want your contact emails to come to so you put your email in that section right there and uh you hit save once you put in that email okay so then you want to scroll back up and you want to copy this little text in this brown highlight bar all right so you copy that text all right so then you go back to pages computer going super slow okay you find your contact us draft it's not a published page yet so it says draft so basically you go back to that contact us page you click on HTML you add that little text that you just copied all right so then if we go back to visual okay yeah so the HTML tab is where you add HTML to your website like coding and stuff like that and the visual tab is where you just type stuff into your website that you want to be seen uh, to find more about you know WordPress and stuff like that in general you're gonna have to do your research on it and uh, and uh, you'll find out everything you need to know but trust me it's not that hard so I'm just gonna type here use the form below to contact me today all right capitalize that you change that from contact does to contact and hit publish and boom if I go back and refresh the page there's the contact form you see that plugin actually gives you a little form you know, so it says use the form below to contact me today. They and they put in their name, their email, the subject, their message, and they hit send. And then that form sends that information directly to my email address. All right. So that's the purpose of that of that app of that plugin. All right. So, like I said, you know, you create all the pages that you that you would like to create. And uh, so you usually want to have like a home and about us, contact us, um, you know, whatever, whatever you're promoting, whatever you're selling, whatever pages you feel like you need to create, just create them. All right. So um, after that, I'm going to click on theme options again here. I'm trying to find out. Okay, and this theme gives you the option to change the background. All right, so if I wanted to change the background, I would choose an image. All right. choose the image and then you click save changes I'm sorry choose the image then click upload and you'll see the preview of your background there click save changes go back to your page and refresh it boom you have a new background wow all right so uh, I don't really want a background though for this site, so I'm gonna remove that. But uh, that's how you create a new background. And as far as header, if I wanted to change the header, right now this is the header. Now, let me refresh it so I can go back. That shell is the header. So um, if you have a header, it tells you what size your header needs to be. So this header needs to be 300 by 100 pixels to be used as is so if it's 300 by 100 pixels which is this size right here then it'll fit in there perfectly if not it won't fit in there perfectly okay and another thing you can do you can remove the header image if you don't want a header there and hit save 
Alright. Or if you do want a header there, you uh, upload your header. I, I haven't created a header for this site, so uh, I don't have one yet. But I will put one up. I'm going to see if I find something real quick here. Um, I'll just throw in the header for the fun of it that I created for a friend of mine. Alright, so header. I'm going to click on upload. Alright, crop and publish. Alright, this header is not going to fit, but I'm just doing this to show you guys how it will look if you added a header or where we're going. So, like that. okay, so this header now goes here. Alright, so whatever your header is, it'll go there. So I'm gonna remove that. Like I said, each theme is different. So don't just look at this theme and say, I don't like that, I don't like how this set up, I don't like how this set up about this thing. Because you don't you don't actually have to use this theme. Okay? Uh you you're gonna set up your theme according to whatever theme options that you have or with whatever theme that you chose. Now, this this is the, the, about the time when people you know, they say, you know, I need a web design, you know, and there's two different things you can do. You know, you can actually research how to use WordPress research how to create pages and create posts and stuff like that and um and you can create your theme that way and add your content and finish building your whole website that way or at this point you can hire a web designer and with you actually having done all of this so far you know a web designer shouldn't charge you much to finish it all for you or to finish the site for you, you know i definitely wouldn't you know so if you get to this point and you get stuck, you don't know what to do, where to go, where to turn. Of course, you can visit my website for more videos, tutorials, or you can find them on YouTube, or online, or you can go to the theme, uh, the theme site, the thing that you actually download. You can find their site online and, and go in there and find out how to use their theme. And you can figure it out yourself, or you can actually give me a call and uh, or shoot me an email and, and let me know what you need help with, and I'll help you out the best way I can. Or you can actually hire me to go ahead and finish the completion of your website for you. All right. So um, that's just you know a few things that you can do. Uh, but back to the actual adding content to the site, uh, you can add a new post. You know things like that. So this post will be. And this is a blog post, so it'll be. Um, what is Google? AdSense. Alright, so I'll type in here, you know, my explanation of what is Google AdSense. Or what is whatever you want it to be. Alright. And uh, here you can choose a category. And this one will be Google. Or you can enter a category. So I'm going to add a category, Google AdSense. Then I'm going to hit publish. Alright, you refresh the page. I don't actually see my post here. So it didn't show up because I'm I'm gonna have to actually uh find out how this theme works and set my theme up according to how it works. And then after that it'll be customized you know so so this is where the, the designing aspect come in you know designing your initial site and all that good stuff and you have to do research on this part and you have to find this information yourself or you have to uh, hire a web designer to do it for you like I said all the information is available here you know you just have to um, find it out you know if you go to the the theme owners or the theme site you know whatever the name of your theme is you go to that site and they tell you how to manipulate the theme, you know, how to change the stuff down here, you know, how to do everything that you need to do, you know, and uh, and that's it. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to really go into, you know, setting up the whole theme and all that. Right now, what you have here is a website, and your website is up online, and uh I'm gonna add, I'm gonna be customizing this site and building it in other videos, but I just built this video to go ahead and get you started. So until then, go ahead and get your hosting, go ahead and get your domain, go ahead and set everything up. 
so you can have your website show up online and then get into the designing and the adding content to the uh, website and like I said you can look on YouTube and all these other different great sites out there and find videos and stuff about how to actually uh, add content to your site custom graphics to your site and stuff like that or you keep checking back with me on my website and I'll make different videos uh, of me uh, working on this site and getting it to look how I want it to look and you'll be able to learn from them as well all right so uh i'm not gonna hold up any more you guys time i know this video is super duper long so i'm not gonna hold up any more you guys time but uh if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me uh you can contact me on my website at evolutioninc.info all right you can uh you can contact me by clicking on the contact us form that is here and if you'll see it's that same plugin that I'm using here you know contact us name email subject your message or you can click on and I have my phone number on here you can actually contact me by phone or you can click on get a quote and uh, you can fill out the quote form here and tell me exactly about your new site Put, give me your contact information tell me about your site it's going to ask you you know where you're trying to go with the site what you wanted to do and all that good stuff so if you can get that information to me i'll be able to actually give you some advice or uh give you a quote return your quote uh answer your quote on how much it's going to take me to finish that site for you but what but what i recommend is um go ahead and and read up on your theme that you chose and find out how to manipulate it to make your site look the way that you want it to look all right if you have time for that if not contact me i like to thank you guys for watching uh taking the time to watch this video and uh and learning how to actually do it yourself all right how to actually do for yourself all right so uh this is marvin t again checking out peace